Hey guys, Lumanus Time here with another video. Uh, today's video is going to be very special because we're going over the highly coveted paper light. Cue the intro. Welcome back to another video, guys. This is Lumanus Time, and we're going to be reviewing the highly coveted paper light. But today's review is going to be a tad bit different because we're also going to put it against its competitors, the eye cares. Super Shields, and I did try the Elecon, but I just don't have um, actual packaging with me. But so I'm basically gonna compare it versus all of those, and just say, uh, basically, is it worth it or not? Um, so let's get into the video. All right, so for starters, we all know that I love my iPad Pro. Um, so right now, the paper like is on it. Um, so basically, we're gonna be going over the paper like and how I feel about it. Um, I didn't actually include me putting on the paper like because I was more interested in getting a perfect installation on the paper like, as it is really expensive. Um, so throughout this entire video, the paper like is on it, but I am gonna compare it to the Super Shields and the Eye Cares and the Elecom, as I've also used all of those too. So actually, before I start, one thing that I am going to point out is that this video is in no way, shape, or form sponsored. I paid for all of these products with my own money. Um, I think that's kind of the, the main difference between these videos and some of the other videos that I've seen. Uh, granted, I'm not saying that the creators you know, are dishonest, but usually they are reviewing a product that they received for free. Um, so this isn't this video. I received all of these products by paying for them. Nobody sent me these. Obviously, I only have like 100 subscribers, so... That, that, I mean, I'm, I don't think I have enough subscribers to even have to to, to even be sponsored by anybody. So um, all of these products are paid with for my own money, and so I just wanted to make that clear. Okay, so I have had the paper like on my iPad Pro for about a week now, and um, I do admit that it does deliver on you know feeling paper like. I wouldn't say that it feels exactly like paper, but it does feel more. It does have more resistance than the eye cares and super shields. Um, the Elecom, I will say the Elecom to me was the most paper-like-ish feel. But with the Elecom, I did not enjoy it because the Elecom, it literally felt like sandpaper. It was so rough to like the touch. At least the paper-like is soft to the touch. I'll let you guys hear how it feels. I don't know if it's catching it. But uh, it's really soft to the touch. Um, where the Elecom wasn't. Like, the Elecom was so rough, like, if I were to do, like, what I did just now with the paper, like, there would literally be, like, skin cells left on the on the screen protector. And so, I did, I loved, absolutely loved the clarity and the feel of the Elecom, but it was just way too rough for my own taste. And the Elecom, by far, was the hardest to install because it didn't, it, it, it was just really hard to install. Um, but, um, for those people that don't mind like the the, the hard install and the uh, the really rough sandpaper like feel, the Elecom is a great option. Just for me, it just did not work. So here's actually the timeline. So when I purchased my iPad Pro, I actually bought the eye cares first. And um, after reviewing some videos on YouTube, I saw like, okay, you know, the Super Shields have a little less color noise. So I just wanted to try that out as well. So I purchased the Super Shields. So I took off the eye cares and put on the Super Shields. And I will say that the, the Super Shields does have less color noise than the eye cares, but the eye cares has more texture and more paper-like feel than the Super Shields. So this is when I started to like review. I was just like, okay, you know, I want to see what feels the most like paper. So that's when I ran across paper-like. And I saw all these reviews and I was a little skeptical because all the reviews were sponsored. I didn't really see that many reviews from people that were not sponsored. I think I probably only saw like one or two out of the maybe 10 or 20 that are on YouTube. So I was a little bit sketchy on it, but I decided, okay, you know what? I'll give this a try. So I ordered it. It was about $33 and it took about 10 days to get to me in Florida from Germany. And so I installed it. The installation wasn't too bad. Um... I will say that of all the screen protectors, the one that has the easiest installation is the eye cares. I will say that um, just because it has little rubber bands and it just gives you all the stickers and stuff like that. Um, the paper like it basically just comes with like two guide stickers and a dust remover and basically you have to do everything on your own, which I did use some of the stuff from the eye cares to install the paper like. So, I mean, not everybody's going to have all of those, but I, I will say that the eye cares is the easiest to install out of the all out of all of them and the Elecom is the hardest to install out of all of them. 
So after installing the Paperlike, I was basically just taking notes, just writing on it. I don't know if you can hear how it sounds. Can you hear that? Um, but yeah, I was just writing on the Paperlike and I noticed that there is a little bit more resistance than the other screen protectors. But what I did not like about the Paperlike is the sheer amount of color noise that it has. Granite color noise is common with every single one of these screen protectors that I'm talking about today, but it was significantly worse on the Paperlike, and I'm, I have no clue why. So for a user like me who doesn't really draw a lot, doesn't really take a lot of notes, I do use this to you know scroll on Facebook and you know watch Netflix and do all this and that. I found that the paper light just has way too much color noise for me, and it's noticeable like on all colors. Um, with all the other screen protectors, it's really only noticeable on a white background, and it's it's just really bad. I will try and take a picture of the paper lights color noise versus like the Super Shields and Eye Care's color noise just to show you guys how it looks. I mean, the camera might not you know, capture it. But for me personally, it was really bad. And with that being said, I know that I'm not going to be able to keep the paper like on because of that. The texture is amazing. They do deliver that it is paper like. It doesn't feel exactly like paper, but it is paper like. But just just for me, since, you know, drawing isn't my main occupation, it's not my main use for the iPad. I just I cannot see me, you know, going forward with the paper like. So now that we've gone through and used all the screen protectors that I have mentioned, my final verdict is this, um, since this is not a main drawing tool for me, this isn't a main note taking tool for me, I will stick with the Super Shields because uh, out of all of them, I found that it had the best amount of texture with the least amount of color noise. Um, granted, I know there's tech armor, I have not tried the tech armor, but out of the eye cares, the Super Shields, the Elecom, and the Paperlike, um, the Elecom has the least amount of color noise, but I just, I, the texture, I just could not deal with it. It literally feels like sandpaper. So out of all of them, the Elecom would have been the best choice, but since I don't like the texture, I'm going to go with the Super Shields, which is the second best choice. Um, I found that the Super Shields doesn't have that much color noise. Granted, it doesn't have as much texture as the eye cares paper like an Elecom, but I can live with that because really... The only reason I really have a screen protector on my iPad Pro to begin with is more or less to keep the screen from getting smudged and fingerprints because as we all know, the screen is a fingerprint magnet. So because of the fact that the screen is a fingerprint magnet, I do recommend a matte screen protector to everybody or even like a clear one. I don't know if they make clear ones yet, um, but not tempered glass because tempered glass screen protectors on the brand new iPad Pro affects the, uh, the Apple Pencil performance. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, maybe because the screen itself is so slim. I'm not I'm not sure, but it does. So a matte screen protector will definitely help if you're someone like me that does not like fingerprints. So with all that being said about all four of these screen protectors, would I say that the paper like is worth it? Um, yes and no. Um, if you're a full-time illustrator, um, I believe that it would be worth it because it does have an excellent texture and a, a good amount of friction for the pencil. Um, yes, I, I believe that it's worth it, but if you're someone like me that you just casually take notes or you casually just do random little doodles on the iPad Pro, it is not worth it. Save your money. Um, it's not that much different than a regular matte screen protector, but it does have a little bit more resistance than other matte screen protectors. So, um, you know, if you're a full-time illustrator, then yes, get the best that you can. But, you know, price-wise, you know, the, the eye cares and super shields, they're about eight or nine dollars on Amazon, the Elecom is about $22. Um, I will say that the Elecom is the most expensive out of all of them because you spend $22 for one screen protector as opposed to $33 for two. Um, so yes, the Elecom and the uh, um, Paperlike are the more expensive models. Um, so it, you know, it's expected that they would be like a little bit better. Um, so, but for me, I believe that the standard Amazon ones are just worth it. They're perfectly fine for you know even anybody's needs really even if you are like a professional like you can get by just fine with the eye cares or the uh super shields but if you did want to go for the best i would say that the paper like is worth it um but for me no it is not for the casual user no it is not worth it um it's a great product um just that amount of color noise just it drives me crazy so there you guys have it guys this is my review of the four screen protectors mentioned right here um Again, like I said, I do not have the Elecom on me because since it was just one screen protector, I kind of just threw the packaging away. I wasn't really thinking about making this video. Um, so I did throw the packaging away, but I have used it. Um, 
So again, quick ranking, I would say that the Elecom was the best, but it's just, I just didn't like the texture of it. So this is why I did not use it. Um, followed by the uh, Super Shields and then the Eye Cares and then the Paperlike. Um, the Paperlike does have more friction, but also a lot more color noise than the other screen protectors. Um, st all still are really great products. And I believe that um, you can't go wrong with either or. Um, but my personal preference is going to be the Super Shields. That is what's going to live on my iPad Pro for the remainder of the screen protector's life. I don't know how long they last. Um, so that is the one that's going to live on my iPad Pro. Um, if you guys do have any questions about any of these screen protectors, please do leave them in the comments and I'll respond to all of them. Um, also, guys, if you guys did like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell notification so you don't miss any videos. Um, with that being said, guys, this is Lumana's time. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'm out. Peace.